Hey everybody and welcome to another YouTube video right here on the Simply Straight Talk channel. My name is Reggie and I just want to talk a little bit about the Will Smith and Chris Rock incident. I kind of sat back and just really watched how everything played out. But then I want to see how the social media and the media itself really look at the situation. How everybody kind of you know, what, what was everybody's take on it? Because I just want to sit back and kind of absorb and kind of get a little bit more information. It is, I like to look deeper into things than the surface. Because to me, I, I just feel like, oh, let's, let's address the first thing first. Do comedians have an all access card to say whatever they want to say because is considered to be a joke. So do comedians have that access card? And for me personally to answer that, I will say no. No, just because you're a comedian doesn't give you the right to joke about whatever you want to joke about. Now, Joe Rogan and Jim Carrey, the uh, he's another comedian, been on a lot of TV shows. I'm say I've enjoyed some of his movies, you know. But Jim Carrey has been on this Will Smith tear of how wrong it was, like getting every interview he can. And what kind of pisses me off is I think a lot of people are doing this, following the trends, just to say what everybody's going to say, so they can get likes. They want to get more likes and more follows. So they're using this trending topic not to speak the truth, not to be realistic, or not to look for life lessons in this, how each side involved can grow. They just wanna to speak to what they think everybody wants to hear so they can increase their numbers. And, and, and my thing is this, like I said, I don't think comedians have an all access to talk about whatever they wanna talk about or say whatever they wanna say. I'm not a fan of comedians who attack people you know what I'm saying? Or roasting, that's however they want to call it. That's because people come to their show, it's like, I'm gonna talk about this person, talk about that person, talk about that person. To me, when I see comedians do that, it means you don't have enough material in your um, catalog to actually do a show. So you're basically relying on the audience to bring you material. Now, if you if you have something where you say, hey, if you come to my comedy show dressed like this, I may pick you out to talk about you or whoever dressed the weirdest may be included in the show because you really don't know physically what somebody may be dealing with. And for you to sit there and attack them, you don't really know what that person may be going through. So for you to say, well, it's just a joke to that person, it may not be a joke. Like with her, Jada Pinkett is dealing with a medical condition. So for her, that wasn't a joke. It's not something that should be joked about, especially if you are not in that close with her. You don't have that connection because that may be a joke that maybe her or her family or somebody she close to might do. But that's not a joke for you to take to a public national stage and do. Now, should you hit somebody? because they make a joke about you? No, of course not. There are different ways of dealing with it. Now, there's a hundred ways that Will Smith could have handled the situation. He could have just, you know, sat there, went to the, went up, you know, and talked to him after the thing, say, hey man, I really don't appreciate that. I really would like for you to apologize to my wife. And Chris Rock should have. Once he understood that this is a medical condition, it's not it's something she's very sensitive about, he should have apologized. He still should apologize. So Will Smith could have did it that way. Even when he got up there and walked up to talk, to, uh, you know, before he hit Chris Rock, he could have just looked at Chris Rock and said, hey, Listen, my wife has a condition, man. I don't appreciate that joke. She don't appreciate that joke. Can you move on to something else? And then shook his hand and walked off stage. If Chris Rock is a good comedian or a good person, he would have been like, hey, my bad. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's get on with the show. Let's move on to this. Let's move on to this. But the problem is, and I think people 
are just really going after Will Smith without even thinking that you got flaws too. Some of y'all out there have hit a hit a person or slapped a person for less than what she did, for, for less than what he slapped Chris Rock for. Some of y'all have been walking into a club, somebody bumped into you, and y'all got into a full-on brawl. Some of y'all have been in all our fisticuffs. You and your friends have beat somebody down over something, somebody stepping on your shoe. Somebody calling you a name. But everybody want to come out like they are just so perfect. Like, oh, he did the epitome of all evil without acknowledging yourself. Not recognizing that you got flaws. That's why I feel it's really important that we take time to just kind of look at ourselves and try to understand the situation that another person may be in. You don't know what she has been dealing with with him. You know, he could have been sitting there at night and just like, trying to reinforce her confidence in herself. And he's doing this every day. He's trying to reinforce Jada's confidence in herself, that he still loves her. Because most men like women with longer hair. They don't like the, you know, sort of that real short, bald haircuts. So he's probably constantly have to reinforce her. And that's a lot of energy he's putting into kind of like building that confidence that, hey, you're still a woman, you're still a queen, you're still beautiful. And you don't know what else she may be dealing with. Because I tell you right now, if I'm out with my woman and somebody says something, I might try to like, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Because then you can do that. People say, well, Will Smith was laughing too. You know, because sometimes a person can joke about you like, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, you bitch ass motherfucker. You know, that's what you're saying. But it's another thing to look over there and look at your woman and see that she's hurting, that that has really hurt her. Now, you're okay now i'm in the right now mode because she's hurting and as a comedian somebody who's on stage all the time comedians even have to know how to look and read somebody that they're talking about and say okay let me cut it out let me fix this up yeah you made the joke about gi jane he could have easily looked at jada saw her eye roll saw she didn't like it and said but you know what, Jada? You are still one of the best actors out there. Or he should have complimented her. Even if he picked at her about not being at the Oscars, he could have came back and said, hey, I know a couple years you broke out of the Oscars, but it's good to see you sitting here right now and you are showing to the world that you are a bigger person and that you deserve to be here. That He could have just cleaned the whole thing up and de-escalated it by looking at her face and her facial reaction. You talk about somebody, you don't turn away from them. Hey, look, look, see in G.I. Jane too. <laughs> no, he should have made kept eye contact so he can read her body, read her face. Jada Pickett's facial expression was disgust with that joke. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. It's a joke to him, but it's not a joke to her. And I think that's what we have to understand. What you find funny, what you may find as a joke about somebody else, that other person may not find it as funny or humorous at all. And we have to learn to respect that. We have to. Now, Will Smith going up and slapping him, clearly that was not the best decision. Like I said, there are plenty of ways that Will Smith could have handled that situation by simply going up. If he did go up, just let him know like, hey, da 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 da. He could have gave him a signal like, uh-uh, don't do that. Like, mm-mm, the hair thing, no. And, and you know, he said, well, and if Chris Rock, Chris Rock would have had two options. Like, okay, let me not go there by his wife because he's giving me the, uh-uh, don't do that. Or Chris Rock could, if he were to pursue further, to be like, oh, well, oh, well, well, come on, Will, what's this about? That's a matter that, and Will Smith could have simply said, that's a matter that's personal to us. That's not a, that's not a fad. It's a personal matter. And at that time, Chris Rock should have shut the fuck up. Hey, sorry, I did not mean no disrespect, all right? I'm glad to see you guys here, blah, 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 blah. There's a different ways that that could have played out other than Will Smith going up there and slapping him. 
Now, a lot of times too, there's a story behind the story and they're sort of mixed things out right now about did uh, he know, or did he not know, all this stuff. And it's, it's, it's just like, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's just crazy, the rumors, the discussions. Chris Rock has not said nothing. He did not press charges. So much respect to Chris Rock because I think Chris Rock, in his own way, I don't know him, I, but I think Chris Rock understands. But I just don't like the fact that, especially what I'm seeing from the black community, how the black community is attacking Will Smith. Puff Daddy said it the best. Hey, it happened, we're gonna move on. We'll settle this like family at the after the party. At the after party. Which means we're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk. And that's what should have happened. It should have been Will Smith, Chris Rock, and a couple people there like, hey man, what is this about? What What is it? We don't do this. And you have that conversation. Look, we're a black man. You know, when they put us on like this, now they're going to, because you know how the Oscars is. They're not going to, they're going to cut back on what they're going to, they're thinking now is be, the thing now will be, this is why we can't have a lot of black people on the stage. Or we can't have black people sitting up front. They're, they're going to change the dynamic. But this is going to be an attack more on black men. It's going to say this is why we can't have black men hosting black men up front. And it's going to move more towards just women. Everything is already doing that. So I think it's important, man, that we just sort of understand that we have to learn how to communicate when we see one of us do something wrong and how to fix it without taking everything public, without people like Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Smith out there just playing up for the cameras because those two always love talking down on black men. So especially Stephen A. Smith, that, that's his life. Anytime Stephen A. Smith can talk about a black man and make them look bad, he gonna do it. That's Stephen A. Smith. But the thing about it is we have to find a way to deal with this without a national a nationwide blasting and talking about each other because that's simply what we do and it's not right we have to find a way to handle things in private so all of the podcast shows all of the youtube channels instagram channels we have to find a way to better relate and deal with things when we see ourselves messing up without fueling the fire to tear one of us down because right now that's what that's what it is it's more of like how can we tear this one down how can we tear that one down and when we don't come together and we stand against and we stand against each other that's how that fire gets fueled so they're going to go after will smith they're gonna go after Will Smith. How many of y'all have been slapped and have any police officer called y'all and said, hey, uh, we heard you got slapped, we saw it on a video, uh, you wanna press charges? How many of y'all have had that? You see what I'm saying? You gotta be mindful of the agenda and you just gotta be smart enough to where we know how to communicate, keep each other from engaging in anything that's gonna put you out there. I mean, because in the end, despite the fact that, you know, there's so many, so much division and issues in this world today, there's so many false perceptions, you know, in the end, we're all humans. Even though we may be proud of who we are, we want to take care of people, of our culture, of our ethnicity. We're all humans in the end. So we have to find a way to work together and live together. But just because we want to find a way to help each other because we can relate to each other, that means also that we have to be able to understand and identify that, yes, we're all human in the end. So I hope y'all enjoyed it. I done made this long. I hope y'all enjoyed this. This your man, Reggie. Thank you for checking out the Simply Straight Talk Pod Show YouTube channel. I'm getting confused. But hey, man, thank you for checking out. Y'all drop y'all comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. your choice all right here. Oh, Simply Straight. Simply Straight Talk.